What's going on there folks? The Earthmaster here jumping on just with a quick update here on this Saturday, September 3rd, 2022. It's about 10, 11 a.m. West Coast time and I had a little earthquake down there around the Southern California area. Notice that on the Barrett station coming in pre pretty nicely from a uh, originally a 4.1 earthquake. Uh, it has been downgraded to a 3.6 area um, in the Mira Loma area is that right Mira Loma Thir uh, 11 kilometers deep for this earthquake um, again this just kind of coming in doesn't look like anybody reported filling it but uh, I'm sure they did in that area um, let's see here I'm trying to figure out which exactly which fault system this struck on uh, of course Los Angeles is riddled with quite a few faults. Um, let's see here. Also another 1.5 coming in. So Southern California overall kind of showing quite a bit of activity ramping up here in the last hour or so. Again, this earthquake um, in a pretty densely populated region. So I'm really surprised no felt reports are being um, brought in here. Kind of looks like it's just off the Central Avenue fault or potentially the uh, Red Hill fault system. Uh, but as mentioned, there's definitely quite a few different fault structures that run through this area of Southern California. Uh, looking at the rest of the area. Um, let's see here. Missy Mimi's here just kind of showed me which fault system that's on. Which fault system is that? Fontana fault. Yes. Well, let's do a quick, real, uh, real quick check here of the area. Fontana fault. Yeah, it's a small fault system. Oh, it's not even listed in here. Yeah, it's just type unassigned. So a uh, little, little new fault system, I guess, or maybe one that's not been. Uh, and then just above it is the Red Hill. Red um, Hill fault. Yeah. So there's like two little fault systems around. Red Hill, <coughs> Red Hill, or Red Hills. Red Hill and Tiwanda Avenue fault. Oh yeah, this one right here. So it's kind of a thrust fault. Uh, it's only a 25 kilometer long length uh, for that fault system there within that area where the 3.6 just struck. Uh, uncertain on the intervals between major ruptures, probable magnitudes around six to seven. Um, Yeah, so, you know, as I mentioned there, Southern California definitely riddled with a whole bunch of different faults throughout the area. And uh, we'll watch it either way. Things definitely kind of seem to be picking up there. A little bit of aftershock sequence, it looks like, following that uh, 3.6 that came in. Um, and also further up north, north, notice a little bit of activity up and down the plate boundary uh, in the last hour or so. So it looks like things kind of ramping up here in the Southern California area. All right, we'll be back a little bit later with a complete update. Just kind of wanted to get that info out, uh, see if anybody did report uh, filling that earthquake or not. And uh, I'm, I'm really surprised. Nothing coming in at all. Nothing, nada. Is everyone sleeping out there? <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. Uh, we'll be back again a little bit later with a complete update. We'll check out the uh, Northern California wildfires as well. Had a couple of them start up yesterday out of the blue, suspiciously. Looks like Yellowstone having a little bit of activity as well with a little spike. Um, see, it still shows 4.1 here on the Earthquake 3D globe. Of course, that could be the EMSC model that uh, is picking that earthquake up. 4.1 compared to 3.6. Alrighty, we'll be back here a little bit, uh, a little bit later, folks.